Shalom. I want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Harakah Kudash. Double honors goes out to the elder apostles of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth. Also, I want to acknowledge all the Akiam pushing this truth uh, with sincerity, okay? Um, so the spirit today has me, um, well, I was watching this video and I just kind of freestyling the lesson, but um, I'm just going to jump around in Esdras, second Esdras, and, but not until I play this video real quick, because uh, what, what uh, you know, these elite, they're showing you their agenda through Donald Trump, you know. You see Donald Trump right now, um, you know, pertaining to the riots that have been happening in, uh, you know, these different cities in uh, Babylon, America. You know, um, this is all a, a big plot, um, an agenda done by the uh, elite, the wicked elite, and the ones who rule the world in wickedness, Edomites. But basically... You know, this is all planned and, and they're part of their agenda. You know, they want to, they they want to implement their military um, martial law. You know, and they also want to um, put a microchip into each citizen. You know, that's their goal, and that's the beast uh, really moving these prophecies quickly because the devil knows he has but a short time. So with that being said, I'll go to go to that. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me play the video and then I'll and then I'll go to the the verse. Your Second Amendment rights. Therefore, the following measures are going into effect immediately. First, we are ending the riots and lawlessness that has spread throughout our country. We will end it now. Today, I have strongly recommended to every governor to deploy the National Guard in sufficient numbers that we dominate the streets. Mayors and governors must establish an overwhelming law enforcement presence until the violence has been quelled. If a city or state refuses to take the actions that are necessary to defend the life and property of their residents, then I will deploy the United States military and quickly solve the problem for them. I am also taking swift and decisive action to protect our great capital, Washington, D.C. What happened in this city last night was a total disgrace. As we speak, I am dispatching thousands and thousands of heavily armed soldiers, military personnel, and law enforcement officers to stop the rioting, looting, vandalism, assaults, and the wanton destruction of property. We are putting everybody on warning. Our 7 o'clock curfew will be strictly enforced. Those who threaten innocent life and property will be arrested, detained, and prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. I want the organizers of this terror to be on notice that you will face severe criminal penalties and lengthy sentences in jail. This includes Antifa and others who are leading instigators of this violence. One law and order, and that is what it is. One law. We have one beautiful law. And once that is restored and fully restored, we will help you. We will help your business. So you see this devil, he wants to... Uh dominate the streets is what he calls you know, martial law you know because you know esau's arrogant man he's got nothing but pride spewing from his spirit you know but <clears throat> i might as well just jump right to the the beginning of this let's see well first let me go to what i was going to earlier revelation 12 12 says, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. 
Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Okay. So Donald Trump and these uh, wicked elite that rule Donald Trump, that, you know, tell him what to say and what to do. Um, basically, they know they have a short time, so that's why they are grad they're using gradualism. Everything is not a coincidence. You know, the COVID, these riots, you know, all of these things. You know, they had the Iran and, and uh, the United States uh, beefing with military, you know, you know, issues early in the year. All of this uh, 2020, you know, all the things that are happening is because uh, the Lord is putting the spirit um, on on uh, the Edomites to, you know, basically, like it said in verse 12, come down with great wrath unto you. All right, the devil is coming down with great wrath on you, man. And it's going to start out with you Israelites. So let's go to get that real quick. 1 Peter 4, 17. <clears throat> for, the, for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh. And if it first begin at us, what shall then the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh? You see? So it's going to be even worse judgment for these Edomites and these heathen. Or even these two thirds that don't obey, don't obey this truth or don't hearken to this truth. But you know it says right here, for the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh. The house of Yahweh is Israel, okay. And really, you know, these uh, <clears throat> this government of ours, you know, they they don't like the Hebrew Israelites being out in the streets teaching and educating people even though they they you know they know that our people don't listen you know our people don't believe this truth they don't want to you know they, they're too drunk off of the bottle from babylon you know the babylonian uh wine you know which is america's doctrines christian Chris, modern christianity is a uh, is a bottle that a wine bottle that's got our people drunk and destroyed at the same time Right, so but we know the Bible tells us, hey, that judgment starts with Israel. You know, that's why they're going to go into your neighborhoods where, where uh, you know the they know that the predominant population is uh, so called Negroes and Latinos and Native Americans. You know, and and they're going into your neighborhoods first with their military, with their martial law, with their um microchipping agenda, you know, their vaccine agenda, you know, and everybody is, you know, look at all the things that are happening around you. And you think, you really think America can go back to normal, what you call normal? I was going on a walk tonight and I go on this little trail and this older Edomite couple was walking past me and the old lady grabbed her her um her husband and like moved him out of the way of me you know like pulled him away like like don't go don't go next to that hispanic so-called latino you know it, you know she doesn't know that i'm a gadai you know but you're, you're a so-called native american you know but she grabbed him up and moved him away so that he wouldn't be at least that was 10 feet away from me. <laughs> she she said, fuck the six foot distance rule. She's like, don't go around that mix. Because why? Because you know these Edomites are watching the news and the news is telling them that you are the COVID, you are the face of COVID-19, all right? Jake, the Israelites. This devil is, man, he's... He's making he's making you look bad, and he's gonna make you he's gonna make you look even worse when um, they usher in the martial law, and they start doing all of this these things that they have on their agenda, you know, forcing you to take a microchip, you know. Wait till it's mandatory, man. This this place is gonna get worse. Everybody keeps praying for Babylon to uh, heal and get better, but it's only gonna get worse, man. And while the prophets were out in the streets 
and we're crying aloud. We're at the abominations of Babylon, you know, and we're, uh, you know, trying to seal the elect if they're not already sealed and edify the church, which is the men, you know. So things are picking up, you know, it just, it's a spirit that is being put on all flesh. Let's look at this real quick. Uh, Joel. Joel 2 and towards the end. Let me see. <clears throat> All right, I don't know why I can't remember where this verse is. It's in Joel. Let's see. Salakia. So okay, Joel 2.28. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. But you see, he's pouring his spirit on all flesh right now, you know. Yahweh is visiting the earth, you know, through the spirits. He's, he's uh, working out the, uh, the left-hand side, and he's working out the right-hand side, you know. The prophets are out there prophesying. The two-thirds are out there rioting, you know. The Edomites are getting ready to fulfill their agenda, their new world order. You know, they, they know they have a short time like we read in Revelation 12, 12. So they're literally, they're trying to, you know, everything, the spirits are being poured on all flesh, you know. This is not just dealing with the, the right-hand side, you know. <clears throat> no, it's also dealing with the left-hand side. So the spirits are being poured on all flesh, man. You know, everyone's basically um, moving according to the will of Yahweh, okay? Let me go to Proverbs 20, 24, just to prove that. It says... A, it says, man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? See? So wherever you go is is of who? It's of Yahweh. Everything you do, when you go out and riot, Yahweh is the one who put you the spirit on you to riot. You know, when you go out to prophesy, Yahweh is the one who put the spirit on you to go prophesy. When you go, when you go and say, I'm going to dominate the streets, and put my military out there because my name is Donald Trump. Well, guess what? Yahweh put the spirit on Donald Trump to to say that. You know, let me let me find this uh, if I can find it. Nope, that's not it. Proverbs twenty one and one. Yeah, it says the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, as the rivers of water he will turneth. Or he turneth it with so whithersoever he will. So what that means is the king's mind, which his heart is mind, is in the hand of the Lord's. That tells you right there that Donald Trump, who is the king of Babylon, his mind is in the hand of Yahweh. Yahweh is the one putting his spirit on all these people, man. On all of us. It's not our own, you know, doing. We just read in the Proverbs. 2024 that Yahweh is the one who you know is a man's going are of Yahweh all right how can a man understand his own way okay you can't because Yahweh is the reason when you kill yourself commit suicide well guess who put that spirit on you Yahweh did all right so <clears throat> everything is of Yahweh is the point, you know. But let me let me get into this what I was gonna get into. Second Ezra six twenty-two 
says, and suddenly, because this is the dealing with the end times, all right? That's why I'm reading these verses, because you're seeing all of this stuff happening. And actually, before I forget, let me go to... Uh, No, let's see. No, that's not it. <clears throat> this is it. Second Ezra chapter nine, uh, verse three. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then thou, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For at, like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. All right? Let's keep reading. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings in wonder and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. All right. So we're seeing the signs, you know, Babylon is, uh, you know, speaking loud right now. The signs are speaking loud, you know. So so um, verse three is really where you want to concentrate because that's exactly what's happening. Therefore, when they shall see, there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, all right? Because we've seen it, you know, before Babylon this week, these uproars of the people. We've seen it with, uh, you know, the uh, French. We've seen it in Hong Kong. We've seen it in Venezuela. We've seen all kind of different, uh, you know, people, uproars of the people, man. So let me let me get to back to uh, what I was going in on Second Ezra, verse six. I'm gonna start at twenty-two. <clears throat> and suddenly shall the sown places be unsown, and the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. And a trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man heareth, they shall be suddenly afraid. At that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies, and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein, and the springs of the fountains shall stand still, and in three hours, hours they shall not run. So you see, all these things are going to come to pass, man. And, and you know, verse 22, it says that the, the storehouses are going to suddenly be found empty. Right now you're already seeing the grocery stores they're running out of meat, you know, they're upcharging you on certain products because because right now, you know, it's that's the times we're in, man. You know? Food is more expensive, man. Even if you uh, you know, take out, go you because know, you can't go well, some restaurants I guess you can eat now at. But um you know, if you're taking out, they're going to give you a surcharge, you know. Because of the uh, the storehouses are not as full as they were, man. Uh, let me see where we at. Let me go to second. I'm stay in second Ezra. Go to chapter eight, <clears throat> verse two and three. It says, "I will tell thee a similitude, Ezra, as when thou askest the earth, it shall say unto thee, that it giveth much mold, whereof earthen vessels are made." But little dust that gold cometh of. Even so is the course of this present world. There be many created, but few shall be saved. All right, so, you know, basically, Ezra was told that, hey, he, you know, and God compared it to uh, uh, gold, you see in the earth you know the earth is uh is you know so many different elements on the earth but there's only a little bit of gold on the earth and that's what he's comp comparing the salvation to all right because we're coming into the end times we're coming into the times where the the chariots you know the, all of the plagues the modern plagues are going to start hitting they already are you know 
COVID-19 is a pestilence. That's one of the things that Yahweh and Yahashim, Yahweh Shai Bashem had, uh, you know, told us would would be upon this earth in these latter days. Um, and that's that's not just, you know, the only pestilence that's coming. COVID-19 is just the beginning, you know. There's going to be all kinds of sickening things happening because people are going to, you know, America, the word America means bitter, and America is about to become very bitter in these, in these, uh, you know, in this near future. Especially the way Esau is acting right now, man. He told you he wants to dominate the streets and with his military. That's martial law, you know. There are already videos, uh, you know, on the internet. In different cities where, you know, these National Guard, you know, yelling at people, get inside your house. Get inside, shut the door. You know, I mean, these guys are in the streets. And you know, these, these Edomites, man, they're trained to kill in their military, man. They, they, you know, this is like a rush for them, you know. This is like you, when you have that, uh, you have a, 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 a angry, uh, you know, beast or lion or something like that. And, you know, he's in a cage and he's, he's ready to eat. And you open up the cage and let him out. That's how this military is going to be, man. There's not going to be... You You think they're going to be worried about justice when 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 we're in martial law? And we already read in uh, 1 Peter 4.17 that uh, judgment starts out with uh, Israel. You know, meaning they're going to come at the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans first. You're going to be a target in that day, you know, very soon. You're already a target just with the, you know, what caused the riots, George Floyd or whatever his name was, you know, which, you know, people don't understand. But, hey, that dude died because that was judgment from Yahweh, you know. <clears throat> but like I said, there's only going to be a few saved and it's compared to gold into the earth. There's a lots of earth, lots of elements, but there's not that much gold. You know, it's precious. It's rare. Well, that's the, the way the salvation is going to be, man. Majority of these people, these heathen and these two-thirds, according to the Bible, is going to, uh, going to die in a number of different ways, you know. Let's go down to verse 62. <laughs> It says, These things have I not showed unto all men, but unto thee and a few like thee. Then answered I and said, You see? Let me just keep reading. Behold, O Yahweh, now hast thou showed me the multitude of the wonders which thou wilt begin to do in the last times. But at what time... Thou hast not showed me. You see, Ezra didn't know when this was going to happen, but he was like, you know, he's because Yahweh has given him the the vision of the end. You know, much like Revelations. Um, but what does he say in sixty two? He tells you, hey, he's showing this to you, Ezra, the prophet, unto thee, and few like thee. All right, because this truth is only uh, reserved for the elect, or the 144,000 men of Israel. All right, there's only 144,000 prophets um, that are of the elect. Okay, that's why it says, "and few like thee," because there right now there's like what seven seven billion people in the planet Earth. So it's a uh, it's a small number. All right, so like yeah. So <clears throat> you know it's it's let me let me go into this uh, uh, second Ezra fifteen and five says behold saith Yahweh, i will bring plagues upon the world the sword famine death and destruction see 
So these are plagues, you know. The military is going to be a plague to the Israelites, you know. Um, the micro, the the vaccines, that's a modern plague. The COVID nineteen, modern plague. The um, microchip, bark of the beast, that's a modern plague. Then it's going to be the missiles. Those are going to be a plague to the earth, which is the sword. Um, then also you're going to have the chariots. The chariots are going to be a plague of, uh, of for the uh, wicked. You know, they're going to be salvation for the righteous, the one-third and the 144,000. But they're going to be a plague to these heathen and these two-thirds and these Edomites. Um, but let me, through the Spirit, I got a precept. Revelation 18, 4 says, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. So who is the her? The her is Babylon, America. And what does it say? Come out of her, my people. Meaning you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Yahweh's telling you, come out of her, my people. Because you are the people of, of Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem. Right? Of the Bible. You're supposed to come out of Babylon. You don't want to, you know, you need to learn this truth. Get rid of your uh, Babylonian mentality. Get rid of your Caesar Borgia. You know, so you don't receive of the plagues that are coming to Babylon. All right, but I'm going to go back to 2nd Ezra, what was that, 15 and 5. Behold, saith Yahweh, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. All right, because Babylon, America is, man, fuck, fucked our people up, man. So now... You know, it's time for the plagues to start hitting this place. So, Yahweh, just like ancient Egypt, man. We're in spiritual Egypt. Yeah, let's, here we go. Second Ezra 15, and we're going to do 11. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and stretch their arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. And will destroy all the land thereof. So, you see, it says smite Egypt as before with plagues. So, this is dealing with spiritual Egypt, which is Babylon, America, right? Go Google, uh, you know, spiritual Egypt in Revelation. So you can read about that. Um, let me see. We'll go to 16. For thou be, there shall be sedition among men invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and the men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with a sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So it's going to get so bad out here, you're going to have your neighbors trying to bust your door down to just get a loaf of bread. You know, and he's going to shoot you if if he has to get, if you're between the, uh, you know, him and the bread, he's going to shoot you. People are going to lose their minds, man, these times coming. That's why we got the stability of the times is the, is the truth. A man shall have no pity. I read that one. Let's see where we at. Okay, I'm going to just go to it. <clears throat> Jeremiah 30 and 7 Alas for that day is great So that none is like it It is even the time of Jacob's trouble But he shall be saved out of it And the, the Jacob that he's Going to be saved out of it Is going to be um, The elect in the 140 I mean I'm sorry in the one third Alright because most of the Jakes are going to get killed in, the, in during Jacob's trouble and during the sword, which are the missiles, right? But it's going to be 
worse than any other time that the earth has ever seen, all right? It's going to be worse than slavery. It's going to be worse than 70 AD. It's going to be worse than the genocide attempt of the Gadites and Reubenites, you know, the so-called Native Americans. It's going to be worse than all of that, these times that we're coming into. Thus saith the Bible, Yahweh. All right, I'm going to go to Second Ezra again. We're going to go to 15, 41. Fire and hail and flying swords and many waters that all fields may be full and all rivers with the abundance of great waters. Verse, look, jump to 43. And they shall go steadfastly unto Babylon and make her afraid. See, a Babylon, America, all right? And the flying swords, what do you think that is? That's a missile in verse 41. Fire and hail, those that's also a parable for missiles. All right? It's going to be missiles showering down on, on Babylon, America. And the only way you can make it through that is if you are chosen and part of the elect and uh, Yahweh has one of his angels swoop you up in, the, in a chariot, so-called UFO. That's literally our salvation. It's going to be an astonishment to the people who, who mock us and who don't believe we're going up in a chariot. They're going to be astonished to see that. All right. Jump to 49. I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence to the waste of thy houses with destruction and death. You see? More plagues. Widowhood, what does that mean? That means your husband died in the war, or your husband died by the sword, by the missile. Or your husband may have just died because he, you know, committed suicide, whatever. You know, widowhood. Poverty, famine, sword, man. You see why it's going to be so bad? People ain't even going to be able to eat, man. And we live in America, so people have always been able to eat. And what happens when they can't eat? Second Ezra 15 and 49. I, okay, I, I read that one. Let me see. Go to 57. <laughs> Thy children shall die of hunger, and thou shalt fall through the sword. Thy city shall be broken down, and all thine shall perish with the sword in the field. You see, so your kids are going to die of hunger, man. Let's keep reading. They that be in the mountains shall die of hunger and eat their own flesh and drink their own blood for very hunger of bread and thirst of water. So you're going to have cannibalism coming back to, um, you know, Babylon, America. You know, you're going to have these Edomites in these mountains, man. They're going to be eating each other and eating their own flesh, man. They're going to be eating their own kids. It's going to get so bad. You know? Y'all don't believe it. Like, we just wait. Wait till the trucks stop. I mean, basically, there's businesses closing right now that I was like, damn, that place is done? Damn, that? I just saw a hotel that, you know, right off the highway over here in uh, on 120th and uh, I-25. It's called the Ramada, you know? Man, that bitch is closed down. I just noticed that today. I'm like, damn, Babylon is literally falling, man. Everywhere you look. Look at all these businesses that have been stricken by this... Uh, this, um, the riots, you know, in these different cities. How many of these, with with the, the damage that's been done, you, maybe they have insurance, but they can't even be open because they're not essential. So they're, they're already suffering. You know, now they're going to have to pay an insurance claim. And I mean, all there's so many different businesses that are, are going, they're circling the drain, as the elder says, you know. We're living in, in the end, man. This is uh, 2 Ezra 16 and 3. A sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? A fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? May any man drive away a hungry lion in the wood, or may anyone quench the fire 